good afternoon everybody. I wanted to do a video. I just got back from Mexico filming our Bridging Cultures documentary. I was down there for, originally planned to be down there for five days, six days. And then we, we got out there and we, we ended up being out there for nine days because we just had so much amazing footage. And it, it was a life-changing experience. Not only was were the interviews and the day in the life videos where we had people we were interviewing crying not only was that a life-changing experience but also the, the 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 people I got to work with or the team I got to lead was by far one of the biggest privileges and honors of my life and by far after working 30 jobs or self-improving through 30 jobs by far hands down the most amazing team I've ever got to work with you know if that's either if that was either a field trip in college or you know serious professional team by far hands down the most amazing team I've ever worked with you know I don't think I've ever laughed so hard during some of our car rides we're going to release a trailer later this week check it out and I wanted to do a video real quick guys I am leaving Sunday or th four days after I film this and upload this video I am going to start traveling again full-time and I am going to start uh, day trading or investing into stocks and cryptocurrencies full-time I'm also going to start finishing my epic fantasy book I already finished the first book the second book I am finishing up right now because I want to release both of them together. And they're going to give Lord of the Rings a run for their money. I, I've, I've, I grew up reading 100 books every single year in elementary school and I actually took tests and I have a t-shirt in my room to verify that. And as a teenager I was a huge, huge geek, whatever you want to call it, you know. Whatever you want to call it, um, I was huge into fantasy. I love fantasy. And I will tell you, now where I'm at in my life, after traveling the world, mastering, you know, 30 jobs, and talking to over a million people one-on-one -on -one through those jobs or just traveling the world, these characters that I'm writing in this book are so believable and so real that I was actually missing them when I went on this documentary trip the first day or two that's how personal and believable and real these fictional or fantasy characters are so i cannot wait to finally release and get these two books uh finished within these next two months and then published later this year you guys if you don't even if you don't like fantasy you're gonna love these books and there are a lot of like kobe bryant would say like Kobe Bryant would say, storytelling is so powerful. Even in religious texts, even in religious texts, you know, a lot of them of course are not true, but the metaphors and the analogies and the deeper messages in stories are very powerful. And I cannot wait to release these two books because there is a lot of deep philosophy and a lot of deep lessons to be learned in them. And I don't censor anything. There's love making, there's heads being chopped off, body parts flying out with swords, you know, cutting people open. The, there's magic, the good is not just good, it's amazing. There's people getting married, there's romance, there's adventure, none of it's censored. When it's good, it's great. <laughs> but when it's bad, it's bad. And I wanted to do a video today, guys, on resourcefulness. And resourcefulness is by far one of the greatest keys to my success. And I don't do, I don't market my personal brand. You know, I don't drop millions of dollars like some of the other gurus do just to get their personal brand out there. And the reason is, is because our subliminal messages are curing diseases and doing things that no other subliminal creator is doing. I let my own personal results speak for themselves. Not only have I self-improved through 30 jobs, there was no old mommy or daddy wine money to get me to where I got. I was not a one-hit Google ad, you know, personal guru. And I let my results, self-improving through 30 jobs, 
where I started cleaning, I started off pushing in carts in Arizona, 115 degree weather, wearing pants every single day, and then would go inside and clean poop off of toilets. And then fast forward, you know, eight years, you know, just always having this mindset. And I was very lucky, I had a mentor that told me, you need to write real goals. Goals that ask you to become a completely new person. And I did this in every one of my 30 jobs, and I got to the point where I am now, you know, running a successful international business, successful international nonprofit, writing books full time. I don't watch Netflix. I write my own books that make Netflix look like we won't go there. We won't go there. But, and then also day trading full time. You know, whatever I want to eat, wherever I want to go, I can go right now. And I don't say this to brag, I'm saying this because credibility is very important. And I let, this is why I don't advertise myself. I know what I have to offer, and I know that you guys out there, instead of paying $500 or $1,500 to go to a seminar, the right people will come to my YouTube channel or will come to our YouTube channel that we own or our family and will discover us. I don't need to drop millions of dollars. You know, the right people will come to us, and we're growing now and just six months after starting the youtube part of the nonprofit, we're growing like crazy the facebook page we just hit 36,000 followers and we're gaining hundreds more every day from over 50 countries and you know resourcefulness resourcefulness has many metaphors and i like to use metaphors and analogies because words when you actually are thinking and in order to start thinking, you have to understand and love your true self, the 400 trillion to one miracle that you are. The 400 trillion to one miracle that you are. An Olympic gold medalist said it perfectly. There are 55,000 people that could be doing what I do, but better. An Olympic gold medalist. But when you discover, you let go of all of these labels that society owned by a few families sells you in order to control and use your soul and your mind when you let go of all of these controlling labels or dogma mask i like to call them you discover your true self on the inside you discover one voice and this is how you get free will this is what free will is this is what being able to focus i trust me i focus on what i want to focus on all day and i think what i want to think the one voice in my head because i actually discovered who i am on the inside and you can go watch my personal motivational videos and learn more about my personal story but this isn't about me this is about you and resourcefulness you know like i said words are very powerful so my point was i want to use a lot of analogies and I'm gonna make this as quick as possible I'm already climbing up on eight minutes I don't want to talk off your ear I want to provide you value like I said I don't get to make these very often but when I do I want to provide you real value resourcefulness is this okay guys we live in an, in an abundant universe everything you need is already around you don't ever let somebody tell you otherwise that doesn't know what they're talking about. I was talking to my camera guy, Paul, when we were filming the documentary, and other, uh, my ambassador, Brandon, who owns his own personal brand, Rise Above. So many people love to talk out of their ass. Excuse my language. So many people like to talk out of their butt about things they have no idea what they're talking about. There is everything you need to succeed around you. All of the resources you need to succeed are around you. When I brought together this 10 man or woman, this 10 man team, or this 10 person team, man and woman are just labels. And when I read a book five, six years ago that said man and woman, male and female are just labels, I thought the guy was crazy. But now I, after actually truly embracing and loving my soul on the inside, I understand man and woman are just societal labels. And then you try to live up to the hype of either one that society tells you you have to be. Anyways, resources, all you need, all the resources you need are already around. We live in an abundant universe. This is the piece that you're missing, awareness. Write this down. Resources, awareness. Resources, awareness. There was an Orthodox Christian pastor that wanted to grow his 15-member church. I'm not going to say names. I would not make this offer now because 
me and religion, we don't get along. Just like the prophet Jesus did not get along with religion. He actually went to the markets and it was the only time he ever got pissed off and lost his temper was when the prophet Jesus, not religious propaganda Jesus, but the prophet Jesus lost his anger when he went into the markets and started throwing all of the, you know, Starbucks and money, Justin Bieber's and Hillsong money all over the place. And me and religion, we don't get along. But there, anyways, at the time, there was a religious orthodox pastor. And, and when you speak the truth, you piss off a lot of people that are living a lie. And this orthodox Christian pastor at, at the time had 15 members in his church, and he wanted to grow. And he kept praying and praying or meditating to his religious God, and nothing was happening. And I walked up and made him an offer. You know, I've... I've online advertising marketed to businesses all around the world you know and I you can go to our Facebook page and see what we've done with only a couple thousand dollars and it's just it's just started but anyways I told him I said hey I will advertise for free on Facebook since you're not on Facebook advertising I will advertise for free and I will pay for the advertisement with my own money twenty dollars where you can see what's going to happen. And he he said, let me we gotta talk about it. And he never got back to me. And there's they still have they have less members now than they did before I made that offer. Why am I bringing this up? Am I do I hate Christians? No, that's not what I'm saying. Resources, awareness. How do you how say Luke, how do I how do I get awareness for I can access all of these resources around me that you're just saying magically exist. Awareness is exactly that. It's an open mind. An open mind. That's why you hear all the time, you have to be open-minded if you want to be prosperous. If you want abundance, you need an open mind. A closed mind will die. Let me repeat that. A closed-minded person will die. That kind of mindset is death. The old will pass away and the new will come. The old will pass away and the new will come. If you are being closed-minded, you are not, excuse me, growing with life. We are the highest form of life. You are the highest form of creation in life there is. Period. None of the animals have an imagination. None of the animals have the ability to think and reason. None of the animals have perception or memory or else they would all be talking and creating you know light bulbs and going to outer space like us i'm not saying this to condescend animals you can hear my animals in the background what i'm saying is we are the highest form of life and if you are being closed-minded you will die a tree or a plant is always doing what it's growing and if you are not growing you are dying you are the highest form of life Wait a moment, if a plant is not growing, it's dying, and I am you are the highest form of life. I wonder what you should be doing right now. Go watch my video for free on true value. And true value is not getting degrees that a million other people already have. True value is when you improve your own unique 400 trillion to one talents that we all have, and we all have two or three. True value is when you stop acting and pretending like Donald Trump or these other bought-off politicians. And you actually put in the time and you really improve your inner character. You really self-improve your actual character and personality. This is why I don't believe in astrology. I'm like three or four strengths. I could name you right now 30, over 30 strengths or characteristics that I've been fine-tuning and perfecting tens of thousands of hours into. I'm like, they ask me, what sign are you? And I'm like, all of them and then 20 more. We move the planets and the gravitational shifts of the planets with our free will, but you got to discover yourself first. So when you have an open mind, right, you have an open mind and you then can obtain true value and prove your unique character and your unique talents, you then gain valuable experience. I, I meet so many people. I was talking to my camera guy again on the trip about this. Uh, we meet so many people that say they've been doing something for 15 years 
10 years, but when you ask them what they've achieved during those 15 or 10 years, what they really tell you is that they're on year number one or they're on year number two for the 10th time. When you have an open mind, when you have an open mind, you are then open to all of the abundance and prosperity around you. The unadulterated message of religion, I heard something very interesting. The prophet Jesus, not religious propaganda Jesus, or the God Jesus that religion created, but the prophet Jesus said, so he, he manifested a few fish into thousands of fish through the vibration of gratitude. When you are grateful, when you are grateful, and you could ask any legitimate, not Drake or the Kardashians that are destroying humanity and selling drugs and, you know, all kinds of criminal activity to earn their money. I'm talking about Tony Robbins, who started from nothing and is now worth, you know, half a billion, despite all of the donating and, you know, charitable work that he does on top of that. Oprah, Oprah, The Rock... You could ask, despite, you know, The Rock using steroids, but you could ask every single one of these people and do research. Oprah and Tony Robbins and any legitimately successful person will tell you that it was gratitude, 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 gratitude that is what they worship. Why? Just like the prophet Jesus when he manifested the fish and the bread. Gratitude connects you to the vibration of life. Gratitude connects you to the vibration of abundance. When you are grateful, you turn a friend or you turn a stranger into a friend. When you are grateful, you turn a piece of bread into thousands of pieces of bread, into a feast. It's, everything is energy. The physical world is an illusion. And I don't have time to go into that scientifically. But everything around you is energy. And when you are grateful, when you are freely thinking, not letting other people control your thoughts, right? You're actually freely thinking and you are responding to life and you choose to think thoughts of gratitude. You are then connected to the vibration of abundance. Gratitude, when you think on gratitude, you connect to resources. Now, I want to close this video out on 20 minutes or 25 minutes. When you are open-minded, everything you need is already around. When I created my 10-person team that we filmed the documentary with, I had only known three of these people. Everybody, the other seven people and everybody we interviewed and worked with, I had never met before in my life. And... They're like, well, Luke, like, how did you just magically make seven other people appear for your documentary that were amazing, genuine, and loving souls? And how did you make all of these other amazing people just appear? How, I mean, how did you restart your life two years ago when you're already traveling the world and about to build your own mansion and curing diseases all around the world for free? I mean, did you just say two years or did you say 20 years no I said two years the more aware you are the more knowledge you have the more wisdom you have the more understanding of your talents or your character or who you are and the more you grow true value and the more you understand life the more awareness you have and the more awareness you have the more resources you have. And you might have to back up a little bit and replay that two or three times and really think about it. Because the more you understand about life, and I'm talking about valuable information, unbiased information. I'm not talking about watching some sleazy snake salesman try to sell you some get-rich-quick real estate program like Ty Lopez or Grant Cardone. No. No, no, no. I am talking about true value, unbiased information. You'd be amazed by how many legitimate 
wealthy people that genuinely love their own selves and are fulfilled on the inside. I'm like, Ty, I could, Ty Lopez, I could tell you in five minutes what life purpose is. You know? But when you actually understand and love yourself on the inside first, for who you truly are, what I've been talking about in this video, for hinting at right and left, you then want to obtain true value. You then want to self-improve who you really are on the inside. And when you gain unbiased information, you have more awareness. And the more awareness you have, my foot's falling asleep on me. <laughs> the more, um, the more aware, the more resources you have. And we all understand, you know, the more resources you have, or the more resources a kingdom has, or anything in life has, the more abundance and prosperity you're going to have access to. And everything, the universe is filled with infinite abundance. The, let, me, let, me, let me throw some factual information at you that you will never hear on the mainstream news or propaganda, I like to call it. Or these, these, these rich families that own all of the dying media will never tell you. There are more millionaires being made every day now than ever before in the history of mankind. And that number is just going up, 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 and up. There are more younger billionaires and millionaires now more than ever before. A trillion dollars were donated to nonprofits last year. A, a trillion dollars. The health and wellness industry is a multi trillion dollar industry now. I didn't, I didn't say billions, I didn't say tens of billions, I said trillions donated to nonprofits last year. Okay, guys, we live in an abundant and prosperous universe. And it's your decision if you're going to embrace it and accept that truth. Because whatever you believe, whatever you believe in is going to happen. If you believe in coronavirus, you're going to get it. Walk by faith, not by sight. Whatever you believe in, whatever you have faith in, is going to manifest into your body and your reality. I'm not denying that these swine propagandas don't exist. But what I am denying is that I am, on a, I am going to allow my body to manifest those into my reality. Hell no. And when you believe in the truth, it doesn't matter if the vibration of love cured oil spilled water in one day. Even when the skeptic showed up, the scientist and tested the water, it was cured. This is the vibration, the power of the vibration of love that brought this entire planet to life. And it still vibrates through all of life. The vibration of love, 528 hertz, it brought this entire planet to life. And when you, when you decide to believe and you understand, you have the awareness of the vibration of love. I, I haven't been sick in years. I have perfect, phenomenal health. And I, 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 hugged, I hugged my friend who said he had corona. I was perfectly fine. I went down to Mexico. Perfectly fine. Do you want me to tell you how? This is how, we're cured. This is how we cured autoimmune disorder. This is how we cured thyroid issues. This is how we cured an STD in one day. This is how a lady was going to have to have wrist surgery fixed subconscious mind energy is all that there is and all, your subconscious mind has a hundred thousand thoughts a day guys do, the more awareness you have the more open-minded you are the more resources you have access to that's the first point part two part two let me refresh or let me um summarize part two the more true value you have on the inside as a 400 trillion to one unique miracle from within, the more resources you have, the more value you have to offer life or the universe. The more value you have to offer life, the more life's going to reward you. You can't fool or trick life. You may fool or trick other souls or, or humans, temporarily but the physical 
world is an illusion. So when you die, you, you better be ready because you're going to you're going to be burned times a billion or a million souls that you screwed over to try filling your insecurity. I love you all. This is how resourcefulness works. The, I, I posted a, I posted Facebook ads for those those ten people that we worked with and tons of more people that we interviewed in Mexico, and I I, I looked at their Facebook profiles. You know, and after meeting a million people and working 30 jobs, I pick, picked up on some patterns. Not, ju not jumping to conclusions or judging right away, but, you know, I picked up on some patterns. I picked up on some signs. And through Facebook ads and understanding how to, you know, use Facebook ads and how to, you know, run Facebook ads and all of, the, all of that good stuff, I was able to do, put together an entire documentary of... <laughs> 90% of the people I had never even met in my life. This is, this is how I turned around my life. This is, this is how resourcefulness works. I love you all, guys. Feel free to watch any of our other videos on YouTube that I upload for free. Life-changing videos. And, you know, next year when I uh, build my mansion after everything clears up here, and, you know, I leave this Sunday to start day trading. Guys. I'm telling you for free. For free! For free! How you can change your life. This is a one size fits all. This is not me selling you some real estate or get rich quick program that only caters to my own, my own gain. This is a one size fits all. Unless if you are an alien from outer space, we all have a subconscious mind. We all have a spiritual mind. We all have a 400, 400 trillion to one unique talents and a starting character or personality. This is a one, this is the truth. This is a one size fit all. The vibration of love is the truth. And I'm giving it to you for free, guys. Don't take advantage of it. Don't take advantage of it. <laughs>